Welcome to Equestrian Life. I'm Will Davis. We're out at Rattlewood Farms in Oxford, Michigan today. Rattlewood is a 240-acre uh, uh, horse farm, south end of the Metamora Hunt area, comprised of rolling hills and woodlands, open hay fields. Primarily is a boarding and training facility at the moment. In the past, it was a breeding farm for thoroughbred racehorses. It's been home to the uh, U.S. eventing team back in the 50s and 60s and it has a history that dates back to the 1850s as a horse farm in our community. For the next few weeks we'd like to explore this piece of property and share some of the history. Today we're here to talk to Patrick Bursons, dressage instructor and trainer from Wellington, Florida, originally from Belgium and currently the uh, Olympic coach to the Venezuelan dressage team. Welcome. I'm talking with Patrick Bursons today, dressage trainer and instructor from Wellington, Florida. He's here at Rattlewood Farms for a clinic this weekend, and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to uh, ask him about his experience in the horse industry and what it's been like uh, for as a career and how he got started. So I'd like to say welcome to Patrick. Thank you for having Glad me. Glad to have you here. So um, you're originally from Belgium. Born in Belgium. And... You now reside in Wellington, Florida. Yes, we do. How does one get from Belgium to Wellington, Florida? It's, it's a long story. From Belgium, I started working in Germany. Then we met this uh, Mexican lady that bought a horse where I was working. She took me to Mexico. Okay. I stayed in Mexico for 16 years, and then we started showing in the United States a little bit. And we fell in love with Wellington and bought a little farm, and that's already 17 years ago. Wow. Um, so, for those of us that aren't familiar with the Wellington area, or for uh -huh. those, I've been there myself, um, what is the Wellington area like? Well, I've heard it referred to as the horse capital of the world. It, it, should, it probably not, but it's really close to being <laughs> it. There's so many horses, especially in the winter coming now season, mm -hmm. because of the weather, you can't beat the weather in Wellington. Right. South Florida is wonderful, December, January, February, and March. And people have started coming down for shows just because of that. And then we have um, good horse facilities there, show areas, and this and that. It just started growing. It's wonderful. Wonderful. You wonderful. really should come. Uh, the, um, as a trainer, um, any advice to a young person that might want to think about doing this as a career themselves? Absolutely, but I think I can write a book about that. It's a wonderful career. Um, it's a beautiful life. It, uh, the horses have, have taken me all around the world, including this wonderful place here in, in Metamora, Michigan, at this, this, this beautiful farm. You meet a whole bunch of nice people I mean, if you have a little bit of talent, I would say, go ahead and try it, because if you succeed, it is amazing. Is dressage as difficult as it looks? It is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's not complicated. Right. Because a horse has a simple, beautiful mind, but it is yet difficult, because he, uh, horses are sensitive, they're noble, they have you know, heart and soul. But imagine, I don't know if you play golf. Imagine it is, I feel, I play a little golf. Right. I feel it's more difficult than golf because imagine that your ball has an opinion. As where now it does, yeah. if, you, if you swing right, it does what it's supposed to do. Horses sometimes think about what they should do and this and that so it's beautiful to have to calculate that in everything absolutely everything you do beautiful. the language between a horse and rider it comes to a point where it, it can be so satisfying you can smile a good after a good ride you smile the rest of the day what's your uh, your take on, on your crop of students today 
clinics like these, yes, a clinic is where you go somewhere for a couple of days, you meet all these nice people and you try to give them as much information as you can. And the beautiful about, the beauty of this is that people come, that come to a clinic are hungry for knowledge. Right. So as a trainer, it is very satisfying to get a chance and opportunity to teach people because you know when you go back home that you left them with you know, something to ponder, a lot of information, all right. good things about the horses. And your, your people here are wonderful. And this neighborhood is amazing. Maybe you should talk a little bit about the neighborhood. Because <laughs> I neighborhood. came from far away and this is a wonderful, wonderful place. Well, I, we wish, are, I really wish it were mine. Thank you. We, like I say, we are at Rattlewood Farms. Um, we're out here on the south end of the Metamora hunt country. Um, Rattlewood's of a, a 240 acre farm. It's, it's been a horse farm since the 1850s. It's been home to the U.S. eventing team. It was, it's been a, a leader in the thoroughbred industry as a breeding farm through the 60s, 70s, and early 80s. Currently it's a boarding and training facility. Um, it, it, it's a breathtaking piece of property. Um, I'm going to segue for a moment here. I happen to run my business, um, my training facility off the property and um, one of the things that we do do here is we try to make educational opportunities available to horsemen in the area. Um, hence, he agrees. Hence Patrick is here today. Um, so we look forward to meeting many of you over the next few months and at some of our activities. So thank you too. You were great. Thanks for joining us. I'm Will Davis, host of Equine Life. Please join us next time as we explore the Metamora hunt and the surrounding horse community of Oxford, Lake Orion, and Metamora.